What's up guys, Justin here for s, &S Archery. Today's gear video, we're gonna be taking a look at Spider Archery Products Stabilizers. There's so many different options out there as far as stabilizers, uh, different brands, different sizes, shapes, weights, and obviously cost. So making the decision on a stabilizer can kind of be a headache, but in this video, we're gonna highlight Spider Archery Products and help you decide if this is the right stabilizer for you. We were first introduced to the Spider Stabilizers through Born and Raised. Uh, they had great things to say about the stabilizer. So we reached out, we got some of these in our hands, did some testing, and we concluded that we definitely wanted to carry this great product here at SNS Archery. We have two different options of stabilizers that we carry here at SNS Archery. We have the Predator Series and we have the Tracker Series. Uh, I currently run the Tracker, I run a 10 inch, uh, ran it through Spring Bear. Uh, archery antelope, archery elk. Uh, I love the way it performed. Uh, what's really nice about having a small barrel as far as your stabilizer is when you're in windy situation, uh, that wind's blowing, this is gonna have less drag than a thicker tube. So any way I can help my bow from not drifting, I'm gonna do that. Ultimately, you want your stabilizer to be as long as possible, but yet be able to carry. Um, the, the further out your weight is towards the end, the more stable you're gonna be. You know, often we refer to somebody walking, walking a tightrope. The longer your stabilizer is when you're walking that tightrope, the easier it is to balance. Same goes as far as a stabilizer. Obviously, if it's too long, it doesn't make sense to pack it around. Uh, it just becomes a hassle. So finding the right length is very important. Um, all these stabilizers uh, throughout the Predator and the Tracker are available in 6-inch, 8-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch. Um, note, just a side note, this dimension is the start of where it mounts to your bow to the front side of the weights. So when you actually have the weights on, you're going to be looking around a three quarters of an inch to an inch longer. So 10 inch would be around 11 inch stabilizer. Uh, when you start looking at the stabilizer itself, we'll just do the tracker for now. Uh, what you're going to see is an anodized aircraft aluminum on the ends, so a very strong product. Uh, finished in matte black, so it really goes good on pretty much any bow finish. You have stainless steel threads, so you don't have to worry about rust. Um, your, your threads aren't going to strip out on you, so getting this on and off is going to be very easy. As far as the carbon fiber on the rods, very dense and strong. Uh, what I like about them the most is they're very lightweight, and that's what you want with the stabilizer, having that weight out front. On the tracker stabilizer, you're going to get a dampener up front which is interchangeable. So if you do custom colors on your bow, say you got a lime green string, you can get a lime green uh, dampener. So there's different options as far as that goes. Uh, but what I like about the dampener is not only does it quiet down my shot, but when I'm crawling around making a stock and I set my bow down on the side, when I'm belly crawling, I don't have to worry about that clinking noise on rocks. That little bit of rubber helps quiet down my stocks, which is really nice. On the tracker stabilizer and the Predator, you're also getting weights on the front end. So you can take these off, you can run one, you can run two. So there's a lot of options as far as getting that weight and how you like your stabilizer to feel. Now, as far as accessories with the stabilizers, uh, Spider Archery Products offers a quick disconnect, which I currently run on my setup. Uh, makes it super nice for putting my bow inside and out of my bow case. So I run the 10 inch, um, but it doesn't quite fit in my bow bag. So I'm able just to make basically a half turn and that stabilizer comes right off. Makes it really nice. It's easy to put right back on. Uh, just a fast process. You also, with the Spider Archery brand, you're getting an offset bar. So this can be purchased additionally. So where this is going to come in handy is if you have a lot of weight hanging off to one side of your bow. Say you're running uh, a lot of arrows and your bow just kind of wants to fall to that side. Well, instead of running a back bar, you can basically offset this front stabilizer a couple inches by simply using their offset bar. Uh, Left-handed or right-handed, you can do this. Um, so just an awesome little add-on um, that they thought of to definitely counterbalance your bow. Now, if you're really wanting to get into the whole back bars, uh, running dual stabilizers, you can do that within the Spider Archery brand. Uh, the sizes, you're going to have a 6-inch for your back bar and an 8-inch for your front. Um, you also have a 10 inch and a 12 inch kit. So you're also gonna get the quick disconnect uh, for your front 
stabilizer and your bracket for the, the back bar. Sure, there are a lot of stabilizers out there that will work for you, um, but what I really like is just the clean finish. Uh, these stabilizers, they look good on a hunting bow. They definitely would work for a competition bow. Um, but yeah, they're just a, a great product, high-end materials. Um, if you guys have any more questions about spider archery products, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd be glad to help, and thanks for watching.